Welcome to the Thunderbolts Picture of the Day review for the week of January 13, 2014. This new feature will offer brief summaries of the original articles published every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at thunderbolts.info. Links to the articles discussed may be found in the About section of this video. Monday, January 13. Touching Ground Comparative mythologist Renz van der Sluis explores a recurring motif found in nearly every creation myth around the world. The description of a sky that rested much closer to the earth than it does today. Van der Sluis states, The excessively low height specified in many of these accounts is striking, bordering on the absurd. Yet the theme is solidly embedded in a web of internally consistent ideas. Van der Sluis elaborates, the concept of the proximate sky as a low-hanging ceiling morphs into another staple of traditional cosmologies. The notion that the sky used to be a solid firmament. The transition of this to the present condition is related in the ubiquitous tales of the lifting of the sky or the separation of sky and earth. How might modern science explain these ancient descriptions of a sky so different from ours today? Wednesday, January 15, Star Forces. Picture of the Day managing editor Stephen Smith explains the fundamental differences between the standard model and the electric universe interpretations of the interstellar medium. Mainstream astronomers imagine stars generating so-called winds that shove gas and dust into a theoretical bow shock. However, Smith explains, instead of treating the interstellar medium like an inert medium, the electric universe model sees it as a magnetic, electrically charged material that is affected by the plasma sheaths around stars known as magnetospheres. Stellar plasma and the interstellar medium are different plasmas, so they develop Langmuir plasma sheaths, or double layers between them. Stars are where galactic electric discharges are focused, so the double layers form virtual cathodes. Smith also notes NASA scientists' astonishment over the data from the Voyager 1 spacecraft as it approached interstellar space. As one mission scientist stated, the models that have been thought to predict what should happen are all incorrect. We essentially have absolutely no reliable roadmap of what to expect at this point. Friday, January 17. Why the lower corona of the sun is hotter than the photosphere. Retired professor Dr. Donald Scott explores one of the most enduring mysteries of solar physics. While mainstream scientists have attempted to explain the mystery using magnetic mechanisms, Dr. Scott suggests that strictly electric forces occur within a plasma region called a double layer above the sun's surface. He writes, Of all the ideas offered up as being an explanation of the extreme temperature, more than 2 million Kelvin measured in the lower corona of our sun, the simplest is that electrically accelerated high-velocity positive ions are colliding with relatively static ions and neutral atoms in that location. On the mysterious nature of the sun's temperature profile, Scott writes, It is clear that the electric sun model straightforwardly predicts the existence of the observed temperature profile and demonstrates how it occurs. If there were no temperature discontinuity, this would pose a problem for the electric sun hypothesis. To read these articles in their entirety, visit the links in the About section of this video. And stay tuned for a new Thunderbolts Pictures of the Day every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at thunderbolts.info.